In the previous sessions, we have seen practically how we can display records from the SQL table. And now uh, we wanted to see means how we can update the data in, in a table. Suppose if you have inserted a data uh, in a table and uh, we wanted to update that or alter, alter that data, then how we can do that? For this, we do have some update uh, and delete statement, which will be helpful where we are going to see our uh, syntax of the update statement and syntax of the delete statement and where to use this uh, update and delete statement with the where clause that is also we are going to see it. The very first thing after we have created table, uh, then we have inserted some data in it and then we can al alter the data in the table. So for this altering the data, there may be some requirement that uh, suppose some data is already inserted, but we want to have some change in the data. For that, uh, we can use this update statement. And this is a one of the DML statement, a data manipulation uh, language statement, uh, which is used to read and modify uh, data. So this is the data, which is uh, suppose sup for one of the column uh, out of this, uh, suppose we wanted to update any of the email IDs of, uh, in this uh, particular uh, row. Uh, let's say for A2, we wanted to update this email ID, then uh, how we can update it uh, or any anything like maybe city, some some city needs to be updated, then uh, how we can update that. So with the update statement, uh, we can do that. And for this, the syntax is like update is the first uh, keyword, which is going to be fixed. And then the table name, suppose we have the author table and uh, this set is again a keyword, which will be again same, a column name will be, the column from the table, uh, let's say we wanted to change the email column of author table, then we can mention email is equal to some value, whatever the suppose the new value, which is we wanted to change. And the where condition will be uh, something which we wanted to specify, like where ID is equal, author ID is equal to A2. So that is something which is we can do. And as an example, we can see here, we wanted to uh, change this uh, name, last name and first name we wanted to change for this uh, A2 ID, uh, where we have uh, this as the last name is Karan and uh, the first name is um, Pal. Uh, and we wanted to change it to these two names for this ID. So we do use this update uh, keyword, author, then set, last name is this column, uh, which is we are going to see the new value of that particular column. First name is again the new value of that particular column and where author ID is equal to A2. So this is the A2 value. For this A2 uh, row, we wanted to modify these two values so that we are going to space by here. This way we can use this update uh, statement and any column uh, if you wanted to update then we can use a similar uh, statement. And then once it is updated then you can see this is how it is going to be getting changed. You can see these two names has been changed instead of this these are the new uh, values came. Rest of the column values will remain same. Suppose uh, we wanted to delete some uh, rows from the table. So that may be possible that we do have some 10, 10 rows and we wanted to delete uh, two, three rows out of that for some con with some condition. Then we can do that as well, uh, which is again a DML statement, which is used to read and modify uh, data. And we can mention this delete from. Delete from will be the keywords, which will be fixed. A table name is again the table name, which from uh, where we wanted to delete. And this where condition is something which is we wanted to specify. So uh, if this, that condition satisfies, then delete that particular row. So that is we can uh, do it. And as, as an example, if you have uh, this data in a table and we wanted to uh, delete uh, the author uh, ID, uh, uh, the rows which are having author IDs of A2 and A4, then uh, we can use delete from author. Author is the table name where author ID in a2 and A4. So this in operator will tell that select the two rows, A2 and A4 and delete it. Suppose if you just wanted to delete only one row, then we can just mention that author ID is equal to A3. So that way we can mention, uh, once it is deleted, then you can see A1 and A2, uh, A3 are the two rows only remain in the table, A2 and A4 will be deleted. So this is how the delete works. So uh, we have seen two statements, update and delete statement. And in summary, we have identified syntax and how we can use it. Uh, practically also, uh, we will see how, how to implement this statement so that it will be more understandable. And uh, I hope you like this and I will see you in next session.